Alrighty guys, it is Quaman here today and I am back with part 6 of my Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku playthrough. Alright, so we previously left off with the guy who wanted me to find him and I have to talk to some spirits to find him and then I can get back on Snake Way. This is actually relatively similar in a way to what actually happened in the actual TV show and the filler. Well, it was really complete filler, but... It was actually, you know, relatively close, and I actually like that they kind of kept it. It's actually more realistic for Goku to do this in the other world than it was for him, you know, obviously going, you know, home to see Chi-Chi and then doing all those quests. But you gotta do what you gotta do. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. <clears throat> wow, a fountain of juice. This is my lucky day. Wait a second, that's blood. Yuck. <laughs> what a moron. <laughs> You're telling me... Uh, well, the spirits are obviously analyzing Goku's intelligence here. Alright, let's see. I honestly really don't have much to fare in terms of threats because I trained so much in such a short amount of time. I mean, <laughs> basically everything is going to be weak until I get to the Freeza Saga. But honestly, I mean with the exception of Vegeta... It's kind of realistic, because Goku really did wipe out Raditz within, like, you know, obviously, like, a few blows, and, you know, Raditz, I mean, sorry, no, I'm sorry, Nappa, he beat Nappa in, like, a few blows, so Nappa really didn't stand much of a chance anyways. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> By the way, guys, since I'm already on episode 6, I'd really like to hear your thoughts on how do you think I've been doing this walkthrough so far. This is, like, actually my first walkthrough. I've recorded myself playing video game footage before, like, when I do my basketball discussions with James and stuff. Or, you know, I, w I made a first-person shooters podcast a couple months ago. More like several months ago, now that I think about it. And, you know, I was obviously recording myself with footage then, but I'd like to know what you guys actually think of the walkthrough so far, for those of you who have actually followed the whole thing. Alright, let's see the spirit here. <laughs> Yes, I'm dead and I'm lost, so how are you doing? Alright, so I guess he's just gonna follow me. <laughs> so much for that. Goku didn't even say a word. <laughs> Alright, now I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like the design of Hell here. I mean, it kinda really follows what actually happened in, you know, the actual show. In terms of design, too. Alright, let's see. Man, check out that tree. There's a fruit on it. Looks pretty amazing. This tree is none of your business. That sounds a little too Piccolo-ish. <laughs> Looks like you're lost here, little buddy. Yes, I am. I'm looking for a guy named King Kai, but I fell off Snake Way and now I don't know how to get back. Well, move along. This is King Yemma's fruit and you're not allowed to touch it. There's a magical barrier there just for people like you. Oh, wow. I should, like, kick his ass like I'm Goku for crying out loud. Tell you what, if you can go help out my little buddy over there by the fitness center, then maybe I'll let you go up those stairs. But don't count on it. Alright. So obviously I can't, you know, go up this, and this random spirit's following me. So, let's move and see. Is this a, a dangerous spirit? Okay, this is another dangerous one. Alright, so I find it funny, like, you can't break rocks by punching them, but you can only break them through Kai Blast. But on this game, if you notice, if you notice, this game, punches are significantly stronger than Energy Blast. Not Kamehameha, but, like, if you do a punch, it does way more damage, like, than an actual Key Blast, but yet it can't break a rock in a Key Blast can. Don't know who was smoking when they thought of that. Alright, let's see. Alright, so, let's see. Where am I going? No idea where I'm going, but I'm just letting the flow take me where I need to go. Alright, it's a sensu bean in hell. Makes perfect sense. Makes complete perfect sense for a sensu bean to be in hell. Alright, so let's see. Obviously, we move down from there. And where are we going? We gotta get to these spirits here. So, obviously, I can't walk there. And, hmm. Alright, so there's no spirits on this side. Wait, is there one right here? Alright, I don't like walking next to other spirits. Sometimes I bite. Alright, so obviously I have to like drop off one at a time. But at least I know that now. I, I completely forgot. It's been so long, guys. 
for those of you who've played, you know, Legacy of Goku 1, please tell me how long it's been. Like, it's been so long for me, guys. Like, it's been so long since I've even touched my Game Boy. Like, my Game Boy's, like, away in my closet, like, rotting to dust. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> Thank you, you found him. You're coming with me, troublemaker. Here's another lost soul. You received 500 experience points. Now, what I find funny is that I'm giving these souls so that, you know, obviously they're lost, right? But what makes those other souls that were walking right next to me that I was killing any different? Just doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> like, I would think they're all the same. Alright, let's see. Still missing a spirit or two. Alright, so I, I gotta find two more. Health and fitness in hell. And Goku's like, I guess this is where dead people go to get bonus, to, to get buns of iron. You know, I mean, if you really think about it, if you really, really think about it, this is a fitness center in hell. Like, what the hell? Well, yeah, literally, no pun intended. What the hell do people in hell need to work out for? Like, who cares about them? They're evil. <laughs> like, seriously. But I find it funny how they call it, like, Home for Infinite Losers. Like, is like a nice way to not say hell, but come on, guys. Hell is just a word, just like everything else. Alright. So I was looking for that spirit that I just passed. I know he was on that little mountain crack. I saw him earlier. Just want to get this. So, chasing spirits. Alright, so obviously I can't... Obviously, I can't go over there. Hmm. Alright. Well, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there he is. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Like, I'm just, like, wandering around. I don't know where I'm going. If you probably talked to, like, the much younger Quaman, he'd know exactly what to do, but it's been so long. <laughs> Alright. I agree, I've made some mistakes, but an infinite loser? That's harsh. Well, dude, you're spending the rest of your eternity in hell, so... You really are an infinite loser. <laughs> Maybe you can ask King Yemma for, like, you know... Like, extra rations or whatever in hell, but then again, you're a spirit. What the hell do you care? <laughs> Alright, thank you, you found him. You're coming with me, Troublemaker. Uh, I'm slightly less lonely now. See, 500 experience points. Still missing a spirit or two. So obviously, if he said spirit or two and I gave him another one, that means one more. So I gotta find one more spirit. <clears throat> it shouldn't be too hard considering most of these spirits I've already killed. Hmm.